What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at 5 unique Mac apps that I've come to depend on every single day. So without further ado, let's get to it. First up on the list is Magnet. You know how on Windows it has that thing called AeroSnap, where if you drag a window to the edge of the screen, it'll automatically adjust itself to take up a perfect half of the screen? Magnet adds this feature to macOS and takes it to a whole new level. Not only can you snap apps left or right, but also top and bottom and in the corners and in thirds. It also makes the edges of Windows magnetic, so you can line them up yourself with perfect accuracy and complete ease. This app has been a productivity game changer for me. Next up is Flux. This app adjusts the color temperature of your Mac's display based on the time of day. You can also select different color modes like darkroom mode, or just pick a custom color temperature to have all the time. And yes, you can do something similar with Apple's night mode built into newer versions of macOS, but Flux is far more customizable and it works on PowerPC Max. Next is Dark Mode Toggle. This simply adds a button up in your menu bar to toggle the dark mode on and off. It's super simple, and while I could live without this one, it's very nice to have if you use dark mode in the night and light mode during the day like I tend to do. Next up is Kekka. If you've ever used 7-Zip on Windows, this is very similar. It's an archive manager designed specifically for macOS, with support for a large variety of archive formats, and it has the ability to split archives you create at common storage medium limits, like DVDs being 4.7 gigabytes. It has become my go-to for zipping files on macOS. It could not be simpler to use, performance is great, and their website includes the download links for versions of Kekka that are compatible with macOS versions all the way back to 10.4 Tiger. A very nice touch indeed. And last but not least is Ina. This is the first video player that I actually prefer over VLC Media Player since I switched to VLC back in 2008. It is specifically built for modern versions of macOS, it supports every file type I've thrown at it, and it has a whole slew of features like picture-in-picture, -picture, brightness, contrast, and saturation adjustments, which are very nice for previewing ungraded log footage, along with rotation, crop, and audio features like audio delay or advance, which is very nice for using Bluetooth headphones that don't always sync up properly, and a full equalizer. This is my go-to video player for macOS. It's simple, lightweight, and has a clean user interface, and overall, I just really like it. And that about wraps up this video. I'll be sure to put all of the links to where you can get these apps in the description box down below. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, hit like, get subscribed, and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And I will see you guys in the next one.